Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. So today's video is a really fun one and it's all about how to dress cute while you're breastfeeding. So today I am covering a stylish, breastfeeding friendly wardrobe. If you are a nursing mama or a pumping mama or anything like that, then you know it can be tricky to dress cute and stylish and have a really fun wardrobe while also having access to the goods, if you know what I mean. So in today's video, I'm gonna give you some of my go-to outfits, tips and tricks for how to look put together and still have convenient access to what you need. I spent many months breastfeeding and feel like I've learned a few things along the way. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Okay, so first and foremost, like I mentioned, the key to having a stylish breastfeeding friendly wardrobe is to just always have access to your chest. So I find myself as I'm shopping or as I'm putting outfits together, the thing I always ask myself is, will I be able to access what I need in this outfit? I love like high neck t-shirt style dresses when I'm pregnant, but when I'm breastfeeding, those don't really work because you end up having to pull the dress all the way up to the top if you want it nurse, which is totally doable if you're in the comfort of your own home, but if you're out in public, it can be a little tricky. So my go-to is something that has buttons going up the front like this. This romper I absolutely love. I just got it on Amazon and it has those easy, convenient buttons going all the way up and down. So I could really, I could easily pump with this. I could easily nurse with this. Something like this is going to be great for your work wardrobe. Anything with buttons going up and down the front, as long as they're functional buttons, that will be a go-to for you as you are trying to put together a breastfeeding friendly wardrobe. Now, my caveat here, like I mentioned, is that the buttons need to be functional. So because this is kind of a trendy style and we're seeing more and more button front things nowadays, sometimes retailers will sell a style like this that does not have functional buttons. And so if you're shopping online, look in the description box for something that says functional, or you could ask, you could give them a call or something like that and ask somebody if they're functional buttons, but you don't want to buy something without functional buttons because then the buttons aren't really serving a purpose. I love rompers like this that have buttons up the front, or even sometimes you'll see like this Henley style up the front where it's just a couple buttons and then a cinched waist. These button front style dresses are really trendy as well. So you could probably find one of these somewhere. I'll have all of these items I'm showing. I'll have them linked down in the description box for you as well. If it's an older style and for some reason I can't find the link, then I'll find something similar for you guys. This one's just from Target from this year, but um, as you can see, it's the same go-to style. So it becomes, you know, it can feel a little bit repetitive, but by switching from rompers to dresses to jumpsuits, I have a couple button front rompers or jumpsuits from Target as well from like their comfy lounge pajama section. Um, but switching out the silhouette and keeping those buttons in the front will give you the variety you need, but also the access you need too. Similar Similarly, something with a zip front will give you the access you need, but also allowing you to stay stylish. So spoiler alert, dresses that are breastfeeding friendly can be really tricky to find. So looking for a button front or that Henley style or a zipper along the front, those are going to be your go-tos because that's what makes a dress like this really practical, but also nursing friendly for you. And I have a couple other dresses that I'll talk about in this video too. I've got a lot of dress options in this video because I love dresses. Dresses, but like I said, they're so hard to find when you are a nursing mom. So a zipper front will be your best friend. This one I just got at Target as well. A lot of the things in this video and in my life are from Target. You don't need it to go all the way down, obviously, but just something that will go halfway down that will let you get a pump in there or let you get a baby in there. That's what you're going to look for when you are trying to find dresses like this or that have something in the front like that. The last time I was up here doing a video like this in this location was when I was pregnant. And I don't know if you guys saw that video, but it is a whole like pregnancy style video. And I have my big old belly and I was standing right here. Didn't have the hats, did have a baby in my belly. Just crazy. Okay, so another secret I have when I'm finding dresses that are nursing friendly is to look for a dress that has ties at the shoulders like this. So I wore this dress on Instagram and I was nursing in it and I got a lot of questions about what kind of breastfeeding friendly dress it was. And what I was doing is I actually had on just this normal dress that has the normal high, high neckline, the kind I would typically avoid, but it has these ties at the shoulder to customize the fit and then I wore a bralette with it. So by doing that I was able to just 
slip the shoulder off or you could even just untie it completely if you needed to and then I had a bralette that I just pulled up um, and I really liked doing that it was super comfortable so that's something you can do as well too. look for the ties either at the shoulder or somewhere up here again as long as they're functional ties that you can completely undo or if it's a looser style that's kind of flowy like this that will let you just slip it off your shoulder you could do that too if that keeps you comfortable I'm just gonna keep on the dress train and cover two more dress styles because that like I said can be the trickiest part of, dre of dressing when you are breastfeeding so another way that I like to wear breastfeeding friendly dresses is by looking for again something that has that tie in the front but instead of on the shoulders it's like right here on the chest that is becoming a style that we're seeing more and more these days another dress that is a go-to of mine with that style is this one I got this one from Vici last year love this one there are a lot of similar styles like this on the market but it has this tie right here in the front so you can literally just untie it and breastfeed that way it is very low cut so again I might wear like a bralette or a sports bra or something like that actually when I wore this last year in Charleston I just wore a regular bra and I was just like very booby in it because I'm okay with that but if you're not then just you know keep in mind something to layer underneath it but that tie in the front is what will give you the access you need I just love breasts breasts I love dress styles like this and then this one I actually got at Nordstrom this year I am in love with this dress but this one has the tie in the front and then it also has a couple buttons in the front too so dependent on how much access you need whether you're putting a pump or a baby or you're in public or you're covered or whatever you're doing you can kind of customize how much you open up in this dress again this is another kind of booby style so you could layer it with a tank underneath or just wear it on its own but another way you could wear this dress is to actually pull the shoulders off to the side and do it like an off the shoulder style too so anything off the shoulder like that that's strapless or that's cold shoulder to not cold because cold shoulder is more of a cutout but it's if it's off the shoulder completely that is of course obviously going to be breastfeeding as friendly as well because you can just pull it down pretty easily. I know I'll get questions about this so I'm just gonna throw it out there at this point in the video but it can be hard to also find nursing friendly bras or you know go to nursing bras for a bigger chest or strapless bras or anything like that. I do have a pretty big chest I wear it's so tricky because right now I'm a, a fresh new mom again um, so I'm like a triple D right now and um, this strapless bra by I think it's pronounced Waco is the only one I have found the only strapless bra I found that actually stays up on me so it has like grippies on the inside band and it fits really good the cup is big enough to give me the support I need and it doesn't slip down so I'll link this one down below for you guys if you're looking for a good strapless bra for those off the shoulder dresses or one shoulder dresses or anything like that or off the shoulder tops obviously um, this one is one that is like tried and true I love this one and the cups are really flexible so you can pull them down and nurse really easily or you could just pull the whole thing down if you want but for me when I'm wearing this I just flip the cups kind of outward and it allows me to nurse in this strapless bra as well I'm actually planning a whole breastfeeding friendly like favorite bras kind of video as well I did do one of those in the past so if you haven't seen that one I'll link it up here that one is a couple years old though so I'm planning like a revamped version with some new styles and some new bras that I'm featuring but that will be up to you guys soon too another style I love to go for as a nursing friendly option are overalls now I know overalls are not everybody's cup of tea because some people think they're too youthful some people think 30 year old women shouldn't be wearing them personally as a loud and proud 30 year old woman i love me some overalls they are so comfortable there's no reason not to wear them in my opinion and they're also nursing friendly so you can get yourself like an overall dress like this or some overall shorts and it again allows you to switch up your look a lot but you have that access so in a dress like this I can just wear a tank top with it and like literally slip my baby in the side I don't even have to undo the straps um, actually same with these ones but if I did if you did want to undo the straps for just more access then you could just easily unclip one or both sides or whatever you need I used to wear overalls to work sometimes if I had to go into the office and I could just 
pull them down and I could pump while I was there. So it's a good staple for me. I also like that you can get an overall style in a jogger. So if it's the winter time and you're being a little more bundled up or a little more cozy, I have some great overall jogger styles the full thing that I love to go for. So, and then another tip of something to look for in terms of the neckline is a really deep V like this that has like the open right here. I don't even know how to describe that, but if it's a very deep V that allows you the flexibility to open it up like that, it may not even be marketed or categorized as a nursing friendly item, but it is nursing friendly due to the way the neckline opens up like that. So this is a dress I showed in my Target haul and it's just your typical maxi dress, but the V-neck is so low that you could easily open it up and nurse with it that way too. Okay, speaking of a low V-neck or kind of that wrap style, wrap dresses or wrap rompers or anything with like a wrap silhouette is obviously a go-to breastfeeding staple. It's funny because I feel like even five years ago, 10 years ago, this was kind of the only way you could be a nursing mama and wear a dress was with a wrap dress like this, like that Diane von Furstenberg DVF go-to style wrap dress. Now there are so many other options like you've seen in this video so far, but this is like the tried and true classic style. This will really give you that flexibility, that access that you need right up here. Um, you could even Hell, undo the whole thing while you're having a pump session in the mother's room at work, whatever you need. So this style, I really like this type of wrap dress. I really like because it's not just a wrap dress that wraps all the way around, but it also has a little clasp up here for a little additional coverage if you need. I'll talk more about those in just a second, but that really gives you the ability to have the nursing friendly option you need, but still stay a little bit covered right there if you want to. But wrap dresses are also just a great postpartum option because you can customize the fit. You can wrap it to fit specifically your body however much you need um, and they're a super flattering like timeless versatile option that look good on every single body type too because you can customize how it's draping on your body like that too so I love this one um, and then this is a very similar style that's actually a wrap front romper so this is from Z supply it's from this season or this year um, and this will again give you that same similar fit but up top you can nurse with it as well there are a lot of great wrap top options as well too so i know i talked about dresses a lot in this video but i know not everybody wears dresses as well um wrap tops like this give you that same effect that same look but again you can open it up and this is similar to the dress i just showed in that it has this snap at the top like this but it's actually pretty open through the wrap part here so if you wanted to nurse in public but you didn't want to use a cover or anything or if you're pumping and you wanted a little bit of coverage but you know not the full shebang then you could nurse or pump through this opening here but keep it clasped at the top too and it's just a little bit private but like you know what I'm saying like you could do what you need to do but stay a little bit covered if you wanted to as well too and then of course like your classic similar to the wrap dress the top equivalent of that I would say that's like your classic nursing friendly top is anything that's button up again going back to the buttons on the dresses or on the rompers a button up top a good classic button up style is going to be really easily nursing friendly for you work or not work but you know something like this this one's from made well, but something like this will let you just do what you need to do and easily button and unbutton that way. Okay, now I'm talking about separates a little bit. Now, I know these are not everybody's style, but crop tops are one of my favorite things. I also talked about these in my pregnancy video. There's something about pregnancy and motherhood that has just made me like completely embrace the crop top. It's so funny. Um, but I love a good boxy crop top like this for breastfeeding. And the reason why is because it's loose, but it's short. So it basically is not changing the fit at all when I'm nursing with it. I can wear a crappy, a crappy, I can wear a boxy crop top like this, stick my baby under there and I'm not like pulling up a ton of fabric. I'm not having it bunch up. It's not getting wrinkly. It's not like layering a bunch of fabric on my baby or making him uncomfortable. Um, but, and I'm easily able to pull it up. So if he's, if we're like out in public and he's scream crying or even we're at home and I'm rushing to get to the couch and nurse him, this just, I don't know. It's just so easy for me. So I love boxy style crop tops like this with high-waisted shorts or with a skirt. I'll talk about skirts in a second, um, but you know, anything like that, of course, oh, 
of course a fitted crop top or fitted style top would be great as well too but this boxy style I feel like is very trendy and flattering again now going back to skirts for a second skirts this combo is so cute but skirts are a go-to of mine when I'm breastfeeding and to have that nursing friendly wardrobe because again it gives you the effect of a dress without having to just worry about finding the perfect nursing friendly dress funny I never really even wore skirts until I became a nursing mom and then when I had my first son I found myself reaching for them all the time because I love a good dress but it can be kind of hard to find a nursing friendly dress and so skirts are a good way to wear some of your favorite go-to tops say you have like your favorite high neck top that you would wear to the office all the time or your favorite graphic tees you can still wear them with something other than shorts or jeans if you just put it with the skirt and it gives it that fresh like kind of feminine feeling but but still allows you to have access and to breastfeed your baby or pump on the go. One of my favorite go-to looks, it's funny for pregnancy and for postpartum and nursing, is to wear a tied up knotted graphic tee with a skirt. I think that's really fresh, it looks on trend. I love a good graphic tee, but I often find myself in this like graphic tee and jean shorts rut. And so if I just swap the shorts out for a comfy skirt, then it feels new to me and it feels really stylish, but it's still like my good casual comfy go. To. Okay, and then a couple other top options that you could wear either with the skirt or with shorts and jeans. I talked in my Target haul about how I love these like shorter fitted tank tops from Target because I like to tuck them into jean shorts, into my high waisted shorts, and it looks like a bodysuit, but it's not because it's so short and fitted. There's no bunched up fabric underneath my shorts, and it gives me the bodysuit look that I would normally love pre-pregnancy, pre-babies, um, but I can easily just pull the shirt up and nurse with it that way. So these like short fitted tanks I love, or if you don't wanna go that route, anything that's Henley style will allow you to nurse and still get that same bodysuit effect. I love bodysuits, but they're not practical if they have a high neckline because then I just, I can't nurse or do anything unless I become completely undressed. So styles like this give me the bodysuit vibe I love. They're fitted, they're flattering, they allow me to show off my shape, um, but they have the Henley, the button front top, so I can still nurse in them. I have gotten these at Vichy. These are actually both from Vichy from a long time ago, um, but American Eagle has styles like this. I know you can get Henley bodysuits like that in several different places, but I love this style. There's also a lot of great Henley tanks at American Eagle. I've worn them in my videos before and gotten a lot of questions from you guys about them, and that will give you that same effect. You could tuck it in and then still be able to just unbutton the top and nurse if you wanted to that way as well. Okay, and then my last tip is to utilize layers. So if you are somebody who wants to cover up at, while in public, if you're or if you're breastfeeding around a bunch of family and you just wanna be a little more private and covered that way, you could definitely use a five-in-one cover like I've talked about before, or you could just use a layer that you have with you. So oftentimes what I'll do is I'll wear a jean jacket or I'll wear a cardigan or some sort of sweater, some sort of like oversized hoodie that's my husband's, and I'll just like slip one arm, I'll put it on backwards and just just like slip one arm through it and use it as a cover that way. By slipping one arm through it, I can actually keep it on myself. It's not constantly falling off, but it's still loose and flowy and it's not bothering my baby that way. And then when we're headed home, I can just tie it around my waist or throw the cardigan or the sweater on and it doesn't feel like I'm carrying something extra with me. I find myself doing that a lot these days because we're always going to the beach or we're going to the park or something and we're not necessarily going anywhere where I want to bring like a whole set up with me, but I might want to be covered a little bit. And so that lets me give myself the, the different levels of coverage that I'm looking for. On that note though, I do want to say don't ever feel like you have to cover up if you are nursing in public. If there's any message I give you in this video aside from just like tips and tricks for how to dress cute, I just want to empower you to embrace this season of life. Um, you gotta feed your baby the way you gotta feed your baby and don't ever let anybody in public make you feel like there is anything wrong with that. So I just want to leave you on that note if you're on an airplane, which you may not be right now, but there will come a time when you're you're on an airplane or you're on a bus or you're next to somebody somewhere and yes you want to be considerate but at the same time baby's got to eat and so just worry about you and your baby and keeping comfortable and feel confident and comfortable in that area because 
that's what this is all about. Okay guys, so that's everything for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this gave you some fun, creative ideas of how to dress. Um, if there are any other ideas you guys have or requests for videos or styling videos or anything like that, let me know. I would love to make those for you guys. But until then, I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.